Welcome back. This time we're talking about Wonderstruck, a film that I have to admit I did not know existed until two days before going to see it. Um, in my written reviews for the newspaper I work for, I always do a preview column, and occasionally I will um, write about the more limited release movies that are coming out in our area. And in this particular case, I saw Wonderstruck, knew nothing about it, looked it up, and went, oh my god, how do I not know about this movie? Um, it is from Amazon Studios. So um, if you do miss its limited run in theaters, which you may already have since this review is up a little late, um, I expect that it will be up for Amazon Prime uh, members soon, and I highly recommend it. This is a very good family film. But as I was saying, I'm just, I can't believe I didn't know this film existed. It's based on the book by Brian Selznick, um, whose The Invention of Hugo Cabret, uh, was adapted by Martin Scorsese into the Oscar-nominated film Hugo, which was my number one film of that year. Um, Wonderstruck is also directed by Todd Haynes, who gave us Carol, one of my favorite films of 2015. And the result here is one of the better family films that I've seen recently. Now, obviously, I'm not a kid, so what I consider a great family film might not be the best for young audiences. Um, I can see this film being a little slow for um, younger kids who have short attention spans. This is a film that is very confident in its story and allows it to unfold in a not necessarily leisurely paced, but a measured pace. Its story is separated into two parts. Um, one set in 1977, the other set in 1927. The 1977 story is focused on a 12-year-old boy living in Minnesota named Ben, played by Oakes Fegley. And he is dealing with the recent loss of his mother um, and is trying to find clues about the whereabouts of his father, whom he has never met. And when those clues seem to be directing him to New York City, he sets out on his own to try to find his father. And this is despite a, a, an accident which will make that journey all the more difficult. Meanwhile, in the 1920s New Jersey, um, we meet young Rose, played by newcomer Millicent Simmons, a deaf girl whose parents are either too busy or just too self-absorbed self to really give her that much attention. And like Ben, she decides to run away to New York to try to find a more attentive um, relative. Now in Selznick's book, which I have not read, um, these two stories are told in widely different fashions. Ben's story is told more or less in a traditional prose style, while Rose's story is told through um, pictures, illustrations with no accompanying text. Um, and Haynes carries that forward into the film, which Selznick adapted his own book for the screenplay, um, by telling Ben's story in a pretty traditional um, film cinema style, um, while um, Rose's story is told through um, as a black and white silent film with no um, dialogue cards like you would normally see in a silent film. Um, so we're experiencing the world very much like Rose does. Um, there's no sound, um, and since she's not that good at reading lips, we don't always get to understand what characters around her are saying. Um, I thought it was a brilliant way to both show her um, experiences in the world as well as translating um, Selznick's very unique style of telling stories. I have to say both young actors, Fegley and um, Simmons, are excellent in this movie. Fegley I previously saw um, in a recurring role on um, Person of Interest and then in the lead um, title role in Pete's Dragon. Um, here he, he's, he's great again. Uh, he, he's A lot of what he's having to do is reacting to the world around him. He's not necessarily um, acting off another actor, and um, that's often very hard. Um, Simmons, you would never believe that this is essentially her first film. Um, in real life, she is actually deaf herself and has been since a, a, her, a very, very young age. Um, and she captures that um, physicality of emotion in her face that you need in a silent film. Um, there's a lot of wonder, and um, you, you just read so much 
um, from her facial expressions. She, she never utters a line of dialogue and she has no, there's no sound in her story except for music. So, so much relies on her to get these emotions across and she does it really, really well. Um, I really in, found myself getting drawn into this story. Um, and it, it's just, it's a well-produced film. Um, I have to give a lot of credit to the, to the set designers because they essentially had to recreate New York City of the 1970s as well as the 1920s, sometimes showing us the same locations from, in those two different time zones. Um, and they do, do do it very, very well. I also want to credit the editor. Um, the, the, the jumps between a relatively traditional film and a silent film that's in black and white um, can be very hard. And the, 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 the transitions between the two always felt natural. It never felt jarring, um, which amazing job. If it was not good, it would have, it, this film would not have worked. Um, this is obviously a very small release, not getting much in the way of a marketing push. I did not know it even existed. If you can catch it in theaters, I recommend it. This is a, a strong, emotional um, family film that is willing to have a slower pace. Um, I, I say this often, you know your kids better than I do. If you, if you think they can handle a slower movie that's got a, a, an emotional, strong story, I can't recommend this one enough. Um, if you miss it in theaters... Um, I'm assuming it will be out soon, on, uh, available for Amazon Prime members. Um, I did look up, and I, there's no set um, release date as far as when it's going to be available on, online. Um, but if you miss it in theaters, um, definitely check it out on streaming when you get a chance. So I'm going to turn it over to you. It's, it's unlikely that you've seen this movie, but if you have, let me know what your thoughts about it. Because, like I said, I didn't know it existed. Um, and what are some of your favorite slower family films, if that makes sense? As always, you can subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other reviews, and until next time, I'll see you at the movies.